What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Claws, episode number seven. I'm freaking out, guys. I'm freaking out. I'll tell you why I'm freaking out. Freaking out because I think Desmond is gonna murder Virginia. Yeah, Virginia took Dean to South Beach for his little show, like pose nude with a bunch of other men for an art show. And they have like streaks of paint on their bodies and they're doing things like this. This art show turns out to be the same art show that Roller was trying to convince Gladys to go to the crazy pubic hair lady. Now, we're already anticipating a recipe for disaster. But leading up to the show, leading up to the art show, we have this whole episode. So let's talk about it. Desna convinces Uncle Daddy's little side piece, which we finally have clear clarification that he's his little boyfriend. And she wants him to take over the salon by the clinic so she can move on to Glint Nail. So she wants Uncle Daddy to let her out of their little business. She doesn't want to wash money for him anymore. So she's really nervous because she wants to talk to him about it and everything, but he's struggling to put this party together. She says, hey, I'll help you with the party. Let me get a word in, we can have a conversation. Uncle Daddy agrees, she knocks the party out of the park. Now Miss Jen has figured out that the Coombses were Desna and Dean's foster parents and that she is in fact responsible for the fact that Bryce is now a murderer. She takes that badge, she falls off the wagon, starts drinking again. Just kind of spiraling out of control low key and she quits working with Desna and basically quits their friendship. Now at the party, they finally get to talk and stuff and Jen's like, you should have told me, blah, blah, blah. And I see both sides. I get Desna saying she didn't want her, you know, having to be a part of all of it and lie to her husband and all that types of stuff. So it's really like lose-lose for Desna. Like that's kind of what happens when you like help murder someone. Just kind of is what it is. What's interesting to me is the Russians bust into Gladys's house while Gladys and Roller are at the art show. Who are the Russians? We still don't know who the Russians are and what they're trying to accomplish. You know if they're trying to kill Roller or what? But we still see the the mom queen bee lady goes into, she has Desna do her nails and all that types of stuff. We just still don't have any real clarification of who they are and what it is that they want. And we're seven episodes deep. Like maybe we'll find out in the season finale, but I'm like, good Lord, like who are the Russians? Hashtag who are the Russians, y'all? I wanna know, so. I don't know. It's getting kind of crazy. <laughs> it's like my motto for this show. It's getting kind of crazy. On to why Virginia is going to die. She kisses Dean after he shows his naked body. People's reactions would imply that Dean has a nice naked body. We'll say that. Okay, so you could tell when they got back to the hotel room that her little hoochie curiosity striked. So she kisses Dean. Boom, we go deal with other stuff, we come back, she's laying in the bed naked. Her and Dean have had sex. I feel some type of way about this. I don't like it. I'm starting to like Virginia, I was like, I feel like she's so cute. She just wants to be a part of the team. And she slept with Desna's autistic brother. This is a problem, he's gonna tell. He thinks that she's his girlfriend. So I don't know why she chose to have sex with him and then try and break the news that she's not his girlfriend. Like now's not the time, Virginia. Like that's the conversation you have and then probably don't have sex with the autistic person that you're trying to break up with. Like that doesn't really make much sense to me. So I was really irritated at her decision making and I hope Desna beats her up again. But for real this time, period. Crazy Lady Gladys goes up to make her speech about her pubic hair statue, leaves Roller handcuffed to the wheelchair. Roller, well he's zip tied really. So Roller starts to roll away and he is managing to escape when Virginia lays eyes on him. She calls Desmond and is like, Roller's not dead, he's here. Desmond's like, what are you talking about? Where's Dean? Dean's like, hey, it's Roller. Roller looks at him and he runs away. Gladys follows, pulls her gun out. She's coming for him. Ah! You're trying to leave me, Mr. Anderson. She's freaking out. Ah! Russians come out of nowhere, scoop, 
scoop Roller up, throw him in the back of a van. Now we know that the Russians don't end up killing him because in the trailer for next week we see like a party happening and all kinds of other stuff and it doesn't look like Roller knows who shot him. So, right about that. But then they're at a party and he kind of like freaks out and he's like, oh, I think I'm starting to remember who shot me. And Virginia and Desna are standing there at the party. So obviously there was no bad blood. So we'll see what happens. It's gonna be a very interesting scene because Desna, if she finds out about Dean, will probably let them kill Virginia and just throw her under the bus. But I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see how everything plays out. You guys keep it coming with your theories. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's kind of what I think. That's what I'm gonna go with, because the show is crazy, and just I don't think there's any wrong answer. I think Desna finds out about Dean and Virginia eventually, and her relationship with Virginia is gonna take a toll. How drastic of a toll, we're gonna find out. But that's what I think. And I wanna know what you think. So get in those comments, and let's talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.